have met perhaps and have carried on a conversation right. in a virtual sense, right. uh, although it's really real, right. uh, but never meeting face-to-face -face puts a much higher value now on the face-to-face -face right. meeting and people really enjoy that tremendously. That's right, and I don't think that that's going to change in our lifetime. You know, Maybe someday when it's like Star Wars and you can have all the Jedi Knights as holographic images, right? There's a holographic image and then a real Jedi and then a holographic image. And, I, and by the way, if we ever get to that point, I want to be Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just saying, uh, I want to be Obi-Wan. So, you know, maybe if we get to that point, then it might possibly be, be different. But until then, face-to-face -face is, is still an important element. True story, I had a um, young 20-something-year-old uh, young man uh, interview me in Stockholm, Sweden, a few years ago. And he drove an hour and a half to get to me. He was with the big local, with well, a big Stockholm newspaper, okay? And... He got there and he spent the first five or ten minutes, no kidding, the first five or ten minutes berating me for running what he called the buggy whip business of the networking industry. Oh my goodness. You know, buggy whips went yeah, out of business yeah, right, when, right. You know, in cars. So it's the buggy whip business. Face-to-face -face networking is the buggy whip business of, of the networking industry. And I looked at him and I said, so why are you here? <laughs> and he said, well, because my boss said I had to come and do this interview. I said, no, I get that. I get that you have to do the interview, but why are you here? He said, what do you mean? I said, well, why did you drive? You drove an hour and a half to get here. You could have picked up the phone and called me. And he said, oh, well, because a face-to-face -face interview is always better. Right.